Hello, I'm Jason Azum. I'm a certified Liney Healy Salvi uh, Technicians Guild member. I was uh, worked at Liney Healy Harps for 17 years and uh, was their production manager for the regulation department. And uh, my teacher was Peter Wiley. I'm from Chicago. <laughs> Well, there's two reasons, basically. One is uh, just your wear and tear, how much you play it. Your felt will wear down um, and how much you move it. Uh, that will cause it to go out of regulation also. The harp is under a lot of pressure from the strings and all the strings are on one side of the harp. So it tends to pull the neck and you might get some changes in, in the soundboard, the soundboard will pull up also. And uh, in the bass, the body bass frame may tend to move over time also. So all those things will kind of throw the regulation, the intonation, I mean, for when you move the pedals, the half steps will go out of tune because of all these pressures and how much you're using it. Well, the first thing, as you can see here, is, is uh, we turn the harp over, take the bass off, and change the pedal felt and the slot felt. <clears throat> then we look underneath for any problems with the springs. We grease the springs, check all the connections, and make sure everything's tight. Tighten the feet on the bass and just kind of clean it up a little bit, grease the springs, and uh, make sure everything's working correctly. Then we'll stand it up. We'll check the length of the rods, because that's an also an important thing. And because uh, as, as, the, as the neck shifts and the soundboard shifts, the strings are getting shorter. So you have to adjust the length of the rod so that when you move the pedal, it goes to the correct position. So you may have to take the coupling off and turn the coupling to shorten the rod. Um, after that, we'll put the bass on, stand it up and uh, check the, what we call the setup, where the string aligns in between the discs and uh, how, where the disc sits in the grip of the strings. And then we'll go through and check for buzzing in all the positions, first flat, then natural, then sharp. So checking for any kind of buzzing or noises that might be happening. And then finally, we'll use the tuner and check the positions of all the half steps on all the strings to make sure that they're correct. That's basically it. <laughs>